So what kind of warning do you want to give me, Jettle? Yeah, yeah, that's a good question. It's uh, it's kind of... Uh, actually, the title of that song, I changed it like three times. I didn't have a title at all, so it just ended up with a warning. Is it related though, to the actual lyrics or...? Yeah, 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 it is. But it's kind of... Uh, one would think that it was uh, me standing on a porch with a shotgun. Warning know, shot? <laughs> that kind of warning. Yeah. But it's not at all, it's, it's more vague. Because this song was really like punk related, more in your face. Yeah, 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 definitely. It's a banger. Comment. It's a banger, yeah, 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 exactly, it's a banger. I mentioned earlier that I was on tour in England with uh, John Doran, the writer. It was a spoken word tour and I did music for, for his spoken word. But we did all kinds of different kind of shows, like we played rock venues, we played libraries, we played bookshops, we played community centers or whatever, we played cafes, we played art centers. Didn't you do like one show in Oslo as well? Yeah, we kind of mixed that project with a different project and then did the show in Oslo, yeah. exactly. It's like I fucking hate myself for not being there. <laughs> we'll do it again though and it'll be better. Good. And that, but yeah, you read a book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Jolly Lad. John Either Dora. you or Christian at Pieces for Mott. Yeah. Recommended it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I loved it. It's so good. Yeah. And it's kind of dark and kind of funny and lots of music. And John is such a fantastic guy. Yeah, and I love the music references in the book as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So good. This trip was really inspiring for me and, and more than I thought too. Because I saw in the years after that it was just so much inspiration from that tour. But anyways, on, on, in one of those, we played this one little place in the middle of nowhere in England. And we played with these other sound artists. They had like dolls that were like crazy freaky dolls <laughs> that were making noise and talking. And they had all kinds of other machines that had made no like oh. sounds and they were artists. What, what are they called? Uh, there were different ones. I can't remember all of them, but the, the one lady called Sarah, was it? Sarah Anglis, I think. She was really uh, fascinating. And either before the show or after the show, I can't remember. I think it was after the show, we stayed at the same place. And she told us several stories, like legends and stuff from London and from England and around. I don't remember all of the details of, of all of these stories but I certainly remember bits so I wrote my own versions of the same stories that she told oh, for a yeah. warning and also for the dome they are bizarre kind of grotesque weird stories really fascinating I felt like the, the grandkid listening to the these insane stories from awesome. this a warning the lyrics are based on one of her stories you heard the solo yeah uh, I thought it was some kind of trumpet again <laughs> yeah <laughs> one would easily think that but when it, it comes to all about I guess but yeah no it wasn't it was a guitar solo. Yeah! Stooges, uh, Dirty Richards kind of style. Dirty Keith Richards kind of style, exactly, like rotten. And it's done by Emil Nikolaisen and he plays in... Do you know that? Give me the first letter. Serena. Serena Manesh. Oh, I feel like an idiot. That's fine. Yeah. They uh, released a few records. They used to be on 4AD great band he's a fantastic musician and he's been on all of the arabot records uh, since the beginning really yeah solos only or solos and uh, production work and mixing and all kinds of stuff he's been in the background he's been a part of the band like a like a hidden part of the band since uh, every record since the first full length yes we did that one in 2004 wow that's the very beginning of the band cool that's pretty cool and he still got it. So uh, I asked him to do a solo and the solo came and it was just, it sounds like, it sounds really cool. It's like uh, Velvet Underground, Keith Richards, yeah. Stooges. Stooges. It's just all melted into this dirty, fantastic <laughs> orgasm. Say, say dirty again. Dirty. I, dirty. Yeah, oh. <laughs> and now if you say dirty bastard. Dirty bastard. <laughs> Kind of sound like Johnny Rotten there from the famous TV interview. Which brings me to the question: Ramones, 
I kind yeah. of heard some Ramones in there. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. And I didn't think of that because it's really? so, yeah, because it's been, huh. it's crazy. It's so cliched in a way that it's just uh, become something else in a way, yeah. you know, Cause, but it is the Ramones. I've never been a punk fan, really. I don't like Sex Pistols, Ramones. Because I like Public Image Limited, uh, yeah, you know, yeah. instead. And I, I like some punk stuff, like... I hated that in the start. I was young, didn't understand. Public Image? Oh my oh, god. Oh yeah, yeah, because it's... Yeah, it's... I went from Sex Pistols to that, though. Yeah, yeah. So I was expecting Johnny Rotten's Sex Pistols Part yeah, 2. Yeah. And it's just the opposite. Yes. And it's insane, because they did it at the same time. In the, by the end of Sex Pistols, I guess he did Public Image yeah, yeah, yeah. Limited at the same time, Peel at the I same time. So. I have the metal box. Yeah, yeah, which is so good. It's awesome. No, I, I love it. Yeah, yeah. The early stuff is so inspiring. For punk, I'm like, I don't know, Richard Hell, I, I like that. I like some of the, the Damned. I like, uh, you know, some b bits and pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not much of a punk rocker, really. But I stole the Hey Ho. <laughs> For the a uh, warning, you're right. Correct. You're gonna get a lot of Ramones fans. Yeah, especially for ditching uh, punk. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing more punk than ditching punk. <laughs> yeah, I guess you can't get it. You can't. You can It's hard to. You're so good with words sometimes, Jettle. Yeah, <laughs> I am. <laughs> Are we done with this song, you think? I think so. Yeah. I'm done with punk and I'm done with the song. Then I will chop your head off right now. Are you ready? What was the guy who was in the boat to Denmark again? Oh, fuck. Here we go. <laughs> Are you talking about Kontiki? No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Say dirty again. Dirty. I, dirty. Yeah, oh.